All right, what is going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Yankees recap. This is where we recap all the latest news, updates, and everything going on in the Yankees community. I gotta be honest, there's not a lot of good to be said about the Yankees' current situation, but first and foremost, I wanna say this before we get into a lot of the negative stuff. Do not lose sight of the fact that this is a very good Yankees team that we're talking about. They're gonna be just fine, they're going to make the playoffs, and out of any team from this core, this one is best suited for a deep postseason run. So do not be losing any of the good vibes that we had just because we got to discuss some some not so fun topics today. And speaking of the topics, uh, we'll get into them in just a sec. But before we do, may I ask a favor, please drop a like on this video as it helps me out a ton, helps me out a great deal. I would appreciate it very much. So thank you in advance for that. But all right, we got to start with the news on Jonathan Loisigo, which He's now on the 10-day IL with a right shoulder strain. And, of course, that is not good. Loazga, as you all know, has been far and away our best reliever, our most dependable reliever this season. Over 68 innings, he's allowed just 55 hits. His ear raise at 225. He's, he's been money for us. And for now, at least for the foreseeable future, I'm going to assume at least the next two weeks, Yankees are going to have to be a lot more dependable on guys like Clay Holmes, Joely Rodriguez, Albert Abreu, a, a whole lot more. And if that's the case, if it's only going to be like a two- to three-week stretch, in September, I'm fine with that. The Yankees can stomach not having Loisga for a couple weeks in the regular season. And Boone does say that he's hopeful it's only going to be a couple weeks. So you figure, knock on wood, Loisga will be back by October. And that's like the main like line of demarcation for me of whether or not I'll be worried. If he comes back before October, he's ready to go. I'm chilling. I'm cool with this. But if we're going into October and we don't have our best and most dependable reliever, reliever available, then I'll be... Definitely, definitely worried. I can't lie. But for now, you know, you guys know I try to be optimistic as possible in regards to, like, everything. So, as of right now, we're figuring he's coming back before the start of October. So, we just got to, you know, keep our, keep our fingers crossed for that. Moving on, we got to talk about Glaber Torres. And this is another negative topic. And you could honestly argue that he's the reason that we ended up losing the game Sunday. Um, because if you guys didn't see, he took his time on a ground ball hit by Kelvin Gutierrez, who's very quick. I'll put the clip up while I'm talking about us. Um, yeah, he took his time, and it cost him. It would have ended the inning, but it didn't. And it resulted in Cedric Mullins hitting a two-run home run to bring the Orioles to within one. And, of course, we ended up losing by one run. So that's the kind of shit that just flat out can't happen you know i was looking forward to glaber's return i'm still glad that he's back i like glaber Torres, but it does seem like and not just this year but it seems like over the course of his career while there's been many highs some of the lows have just been like mental mistakes and that's absolutely what exactly what that was which has me bring up the question you know should glaber Torres be the yankees starting shortstop come 2022 now right now i feel like his job is definitely safe as it should be or in september you're not going to be starting andrew velasquez unless things get really bad you're not going to be starting Andrew Velasquez at short when you have Gleyber Torres. But, you know, with the big free agent class coming up after this season, with Carlos Correa, Corey Seager, Javi Baez, Trevor Story, you know, and Anthony Volpe and Oswald Peraza, they're not too far away. I would say their ETA is probably 2023. You never know if they keep tearing the cover off the ball, maybe sometime late 2022. But, I mean, I don't know. I don't think they'll go for, like, one of the big guys because they have those two in the minors. But, I mean, it's a tough topic to talk about. But, me personally, I would probably keep Glaber there for at least one more year and just see if he can figure it out. But, I mean, in the long run, after next year, he's definitely gone from, from shortstop. Moving on to our next topic. Despite the shitty outcome of the game and the series overall, Gary Sanchez, he had a great day at the plate on Sunday, crushing two homers, including a grand slam, which gives him an even 20 on the season. And, you know, it's a pretty solid season for Gary, I gotta say. He's cooled off considerably since his crazy hot streak early in the summer, but certainly he is still among the better catchers in the American League. His OPS is at 767, with 20 homers, ranks third in the American League. And also, too, his defense is hardly even a liability anymore. I don't actually have the advanced stats up in front of me, but just going off the eye test, which, you know, I hate to do, but going off the eye test, Gary has not been, like, a sore thumb on this Yankees team when it comes to defense this year. So, good for him. He's having a solid season, and... You know, you could argue that if he doesn't get hurt or would he have COVID, if he doesn't have COVID, that his season stats look uh, a little bit better, too, and he's still having a, a solid year. Moving on, we got to talk about Andrew Heaney, who's been absolutely terrible as a Yankee. He now has a 7.62 ERA over 20 innings since coming over, and it really makes you wonder, when will the Yankees cut loose with this guy? He's been terrible as a starter. He's been even worse out of the bullpen, and you have Luis Heal just waiting down in, in AAA. Now, I'd like to think with Heaney that he could actually get DFA'd because the way it shakes up right now, no shot he has a, a spot on the postseason roster. 
and I don't imagine I can't imagine the Yankees are going to sign him after this year, and he's a free agent. So if that's the case, why not just cut ties with him? Like admit that you made a mistake, the same way the Blue Jays did with Brad Hand, who they acquired at the deadline. They just defeated him what last week. Why not do the same thing with Andrew Heaney, especially if he has no future, no future on this team going forward? As for Heal, you know, fortunately, it is looking like he could make his next start in the big leagues. Boone, he did say this was a possibility on the post game yesterday, and with Wednesday's starter against the Blue Jays not listed, I am expecting that to be the day that Heal makes another MLB start. So, at least we'll be seeing some more of Luis Heal. But let's wrap things up with a postseason update. Both the Rays and Boston they lost Sunday as well, so that's good. We didn't lose any ground. We currently hold the first AL wildcard spot ahead of Boston by two games in the loss column. And then Seattle trails them by three and a half games, giving us a four game cushion. And as for the AL East, we are seven and a half back of Tampa Bay for first place. To be honest, I'm not even, I'm not giving up the division by any means, but I'm not going to be scoreboard watching the Rays until we're like five, it would, at least within six games back of, of, of first place. For now, I'm just focusing on the wild card. Boston, they've been playing well lately. I think they've won like three series or like four straight series in a row. So got to focus on them because if you're going to be a wild card team, which right now it's looking like we will be, that game, you got to make sure that it's that it's in the Bronx. That's going to do it for this Yankees recap. I hope you all enjoyed. I'll probably be doing another one of these on Wednesday morning. You maybe, maybe can expect one. And yeah, I hope you guys all had a good weekend. Enjoy your Labor Day. I will see you guys next time. Let's go Yankees.